Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain steady state error. Here, first I will discuss about basics of steady state error. After that, I will derive equation of steady state error. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of steady state error. See, steady state error is an error of system at time t goes to infinite. So after long duration, error of the system is steady state error means steady state error is an error at time t goes to infinite. Steady state error justifies the accuracy of the system and steady state error depends on many parameters. Here I will discuss about three parameters on which steady state error depends. So steady state error may arise due to following reasons. First reason is based on nature of inputs second reason is based on types of system and third reason is based on non linearities of system components after derivation of steady state error i will explain how steady state error depends on these three reasons so let us derive equation of steady state error so here we have negative feedback system you can observe and for this negative feedback system I will explain calculation of steady state error. So here with this negative feedback system, here we have feedback signal and here we have error signal. Here we have negative feedback. So but obviously error signal that is a difference of input and feedback signal, right? So here feedback signal f of s that is this signal and that is coming after feedback. Here feedback is h of s. This output C of S that we give it to H of S. So F of S that is C of S into H of S, right? And error signal that is input R of S minus feedback signal. Feedback signal is C of S into H of S means error signal that is input R of S minus C of S H of S, right? Now we need to have equation of steady state error right so here you need to understand few basics like what is output over here see output that is input to this system into gain of this system so input to this system is e of s and gain is g of s so c of s that is e of s into g of s right and to have steady state error what we can do is we can substitute this c of s inside this equation see we are dealing with to identify error signal in terms of input system and feedback we don't want this error signal in form of c of s we want error signal in form of input gain of the system and feedback gain right so what we can do is we can substitute c of s inside this equation right so based on this two equation one can say e of s that is r of s minus instead of c of s i have substituted e of s g of s over here right now to have e of s let us take this term on this side so here we will be having e of s plus e of s g of s h of s is equals to r of s now if you take e of s common over here then e of s that is r of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s so this is error signal in form of laplace domain right so here we have error signal e of s that is there in form of laplace domain laplace domain means we have a signal in form of frequency domain if you want signal in form of time domain then you need to take inverse laplace of this e of s so if you take inverse Laplace of E of S, then one can get error signal in time domain, right? So now we have error signal in terms of frequency domain as well as error signal in terms of time domain. So what is steady state error? So as per the basic definition, one can say steady state error is an error when time t goes to infinite, right? So here, see steady state error ess 
that is limit t tends to infinite e of t and if you want steady state error calculation based on laplace domain then here limit s tends to 0 s into e of s that you need to do where e of s that is r of s divided by 1 plus gs hs right so here we have equations of steady state error in form of time domain as well as in form of laplace domain for negative feedback one need to remember this equation e of s that is r of s divided by 1 plus gs hs right and steady state error is limit s tends to 0 s into e of s so that is how one can identify steady state error in form of time domain and in form of laplace domain now as i have told we need to understand this steady state error based on three different parameters so let me explain how it is happening here i have explained steady state error that is depending on nature of inputs so if you observe here we have equation of steady state error that is based on r of s that is input signal right here i have told that steady state error that is depending on types of system types of system means here we have system that is having transfer function g of s so if you observe the steady state error that is depending on g of s that is based on types of system right and here i have mentioned that it is also depending on non linearity of system components so here if you observe in given system we have negative feedback so system component that is negative feedback along with the feedback gain of h of s so steady state error that is also depending on h of s so as if there is any non linearity present in feedback then also steady state error changes right so steady state error that depends on input it depends on system as well as it depends on system components like feedback right so that is what i have earlier told you over here i think now you are having fair enough idea about what is steady state error and how to identify it you need to remember these equations see steady state error that is limit t tends to infinite e of t and in terms of laplace domain s tends to 0 s into e of s i have seen students are doing mistake while they calculate steady state error using laplace domain they used to forget this s so always remember you will have to multiply s with e of s and calculation of e of s that is as per r of s divided by 1 plus gs hs so these are the equations that you need to focus about to have a calculation of steady state error in future coming videos i will solve many problems based on these equations thank you so much for watching this video